السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. My students, إن شاء الله today we'll begin a new period about excretion in humans. We said excretion is removing the waste harmful materials or is the removal from organisms of toxic materials. And substanding excess of requirement include maybe uh, water vapor, maybe carbon. And we said a lot of toxic the last time. Today we'll study water balance and osmoregulation. Water balance and osmoregulation. Okay. Water balance and osmo regulation today. Water balance and osmo regulation. We said water balance and osmo regulations. Water will lose by the skin and respiration of water vapor. I'll write it now for you, a minute. Water will lose and water vapor. Please don't raise your hand. I will continue to raise your hand as you like, OK? Either we absorb that from the floor tank. So water will lose from where, number one, from the skin and uh, from the and it will from respiration of water vapor. So this water is reabsorbed from the kidney. Water vapor is reabsorbed from the kidney. During the sweating or during the day, during a hot day, okay, sweating decreases, so more water is removed from, from the body. Where exactly from the blood? By the kidney. But if the blood is the, is the water content, as you said, of blood normal must be normal, we have too much water to drink, salt eat too much sweating, it will return to the blood like that. Then the high volume of water reabsorbed by the kidney, okay, and the other side, low volume of water reabsorbed by the kidney, then it will return to the body another time. It will continue like that. So if the blood is too concentrated, what happens? If the blood is too concentrated, what happened here? If the blood is too concentrated, If the blood is too concentrated, more water is reabsorbed another time like that. It's reabsorbed like the MEDUC. So motor water is reabsorbed by the kidney to the blood, as you see from the, from the image. But what happens if carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, when carbon dioxide dissolves in the fluid, it will form what's called carbonic acid, okay, in the form of carbonic acid. But we are talking about now about water balance and osmoregulation. I mean the balance, okay? It will reabsorb water another time by, by the kidney. Understand? What about the kidney? The kidney consists of what? We will take the kidney now.
The kidney consists of cortex and medulla. That is the kidney in front of you. It will uh, consist of the, that is the, the, the medulla. Inside there, that is the cortex. We have renal pyramid, but in your syllabus, that is, consists of cortex and medulla and valves. This one is called renal valve, then the ureter. After the ureter, we have urinary bladder and urethra, we see the last time. But today, just we took the structure of the kidney. In the kidney, we have, okay, inside it, we have uh, kidney tubules. This kidney tubules, we will take it now, the patient. This kidney tubule. It's called nephron. Kidney tubule is called also nephron. Okay. This is the nephron, you see it? Okay. Um, the renal artery here, that is the, uh, we have renal artery and renal vein. Renal artery, go to uh, a lot of arterioles, vein capillaries inside the cortex, that is the cortex. This type of kidney tube, look called the nephron. Called what? Called nephron. Nephron begins with this side, it's called the uh, Bowman's capsule, or it's called capsule, renal capsule. It is surrounded by what's called the glomerulus, as you see, glomerulus. Glomerulus consists of a lot of blood capillaries. I will repeat another time. In the artery, of the renal artery, it will divide into many arterioles. divided into many arterioles, then many capillaries. This happened where in the cortex or medulla in the cortex. Glomerulus, this one, it's called the uh, glomerulus. Glomerulus surrounded by what's called the renal capsule. That is the renal capsule, or it's called the Bowman's capsule, the same. It leads to the vestibule, first tubule, then Lobe of Henley, it's called the lobe of nephron or lobe that is wool. Then collected up, it will go to in the in the urine that is in the medulla here. Here in the cortex, this uh, this one is called the cortex here. Cortex. Don't raise your hand. I will I will come breathe and raise the hand as you like. I will come breathe and raise your hand because we have a lot of things to explain today. Then to the medulla and the pelvis, that is the pelvis here. That is in the cortex now. That is the medulla here. Medulla. That is the medulla here. This nephron is a single glomerulus with its renal capsule. That is the renal capsule. This renal capsule, or renal tube, go to the renal tubules and the blood capillaries inside it. We see this before. What is the function of the kidney? The kidney make what? Make two important, two important processes. They are ultra filtration. We see the last time and reabsorption, reabsorption, okay? So this reabsorption is called also selective reabsorption. Here, during the, okay, during the function of the kidney, 
uh, during this uh, um, okay, filtration, during filtration and during reabsorption, what happens? Selective reabsorption, the process of absorbing back the substance needed by the body. By what? By glucose, by water, okay? It will return to the body to benefit from, from it. Understand? Until now? We'll go to now to page. We have, we say everything about water plasma and of modulation, but uh, we saved the last time the ammunition in the liver. What is the deamination? Deamination means the removal of the nitrogen containing a part of amino acid to form urea. I repeat. Deamination means the removal of the nit nitrogen containing a part of amino acid to form urea. The ammunition and the removal of the nitrogen containing part of the of the nitrogen containing part containing part of amino acid to formula of amino acid to form urea to form urea that's everything now i will ask what's ammunition i will choose one of the students what's the ammunition i will choose one of the students who can read his hand what is the ammunition? What is the ammunition? Ala, yes, Ala. Yeah. It's the removal of nitrogen containing part of, of amino acid to form urea. Thank you, Sala. Excellent. Ala, you, uh, you hear well? The screen is okay for you? Ala, you hear me well? Okay, I yes. will, you heard me well, the screen is okay? You see the screen well, Ala? You see the image in front of you well? You understand that, you understand the explaining well? What is the other students? Another one. Another one I want to ask you, what is, the, what is execution? What is execution? I'm asking now. Okay, Alan, I want another one. Okay, this one, okay. So now, what is excretion? I will say no problem. The excretion is the removal from organisms of toxic materials. No problem. Okay. Now, uh, I will continue. I will continue. So now, we said function of the kidney. Now we will see, we will talk about the dialysis machine. Dialysis machine. Dialysis machine, uh, some people, okay, infected by kidney failure. Kidney failure is very harmful for the body. Understand? So in the body, the dialysis machine, if you go to page Exactly, page 177 and 178. There is machines.
One minute to give you the dialysis machine. The dialysis machine. We will talk about the dialysis machine now. One minute. This machine, we will okay, uh, treat what is called kidney filler. What is called what? Kidney, kidney filler. Kidney filler, we will, um, that is the direct machine in front of you. If you go to the image here, uh, in, inside your book, we have uh, image page 178. Figure 13.8 and 13.7. That is 13.7. How does the dialysis machine work? We will connect the arm of the uh, the arm of the of the patient with the dialysis machine. But how? How does the dialysis machine work? It will connect to the blood. The blood we have connected to the arm of the patient, but we use the elevis machine why due to kidney failure, due to the blood pressure, due to maybe imbalance of potassium. Okay, so we you we use the elevis machine. It consists it consists of long cellulose tube, as you see, and the in page 178. The elevis machine, the elevis machine. Water path inside it. We have the patient blood is lit from the vein in the arm. And pumping through the cellulose, which is calling the dialysis tubing. The tiny pores in the tubing, as you see in the, in the book, in the dialysis tubing, allow urea, okay, salt, glucose, to quickly leak out through water path. Blood cells and proteins are too light to get through the pool. So it cannot, it cannot go through the, through the pores of the dialysis machine. Cannot go. The liquid in the water bath consists of what? The liquid in the water path. The liquid in the water path, a minute. We said it consists of number one, the dialysis machine. Machine consists of number one. We said long cellulose tube. Long cell lose tube. Number two, water path. Number three, okay, a vein on the arm. We see we will we will connect the water bath with the vein of the arm. Okay. Pumping through the zero dialysis tubing, there are tiny pores in the dialysis tubing. We have also dialysis tubing. See one. Okay, through that we connect to the, to the arm of the patient. We attach to the arm of the patient, as you see in page 178, to the arm of the patient, page 178. We must use the book, we must go to the book just to see the image, but I'm explaining from here in front of you. That is the in front of you, that is the true one. Okay, that is the real one. Blood cells, uh, water, blood cells and the routines are too large, so it cannot go by the rest of the machine. Blood cells and routines and routines are too large to pass 
are too large to pass through this dialysis machine or through the pores of the dialysis machine. Through the pores to the pores of the dialysis machine or the dialysis tubing. So it will not pass. The liquid in the water path consists of what? I want the liquid here inside the water path, the same in the same page. If you want to write, I will give you just one minute. Found in the book. Dialysis, the liquid in the water bath consists of the liquid inside the water bath. We see it consists of number one, consists of long cellulose tube. Number two, water path. Okay. Inside the tube of dialysis, there are pores. It's called dialysis tubing. The tiny pores in the dialysis tubing allow your real salt is going to go to leak out through water path. But what is inside? What is the liquid inside the water path? I see the water path. What is the liquid inside the water? The water path. It consists of solution of salt and sugar. Solution. If you write, want to write, write with me quickly. Solution of salts and sugar. Substance above the concentration can diffuse out of the blood into the bathing solution. The substance above the concentration, over the concentration, this substance, okay, above the concentration. What happened to the above concentration? Can diffuse, do you remember diffusion? Diffuse out of the blood into the bathing solution, into the bathing solution. A patient, okay, uh, which uh, the kidney, a patient who has kidney failure, with the kidney between two to three days per week. But we can use what's called kidney transplant. The problem with kidney transplant, and instead of uh, dialysis, we have what's called kidney transplant. But the, the problem here in the kidney transplant, number one, to find the, the patient. Number two, the kidney uh, transplant is to find enough suitable donor or a person of healthy kidney and to prevent the transplanted kidney from being rejected. How? The donor may be a close relative who is prepared to donate one of his or her kidney. So, to find the person, it is difficult to find the person. And you must find a healthy person to transplant the kidney from which, uh, which, which we, uh, who is called the donor. Like relatives, like what? Maybe. But the problem with rejection is that the body, the problem with rejection is that the body reacts to any transplanted cells of tissue. As it doesn't to all foreign proteins. That is the problem. So we must choose, okay, donor. We must use what's called immuno 
suppressive drugs. Immunosuppressive drugs. We said immunosuppressive due to immunity. Suppressed due to the word suppress, which means the production of lymphocytes and viral antibody again in the transplanted organ. But what is the advantage and disadvantage of the okay of transplanting? Advantage if the patient can return to normal life cycle dialysis. That's okay. That is the that is advantage. Number two. The machine will be available for other patients too. Understand? The dialysis machine are expensive to buy and maintain. But what are the disadvantage of transplant? We are called now about. We are talk now about disadvantage. The advantage. And disadvantage. Okay, disadvantage. Okay. Of dialysis, of uh, sorry, of kidney transplant. We are talking about of kidney transplant here. Okay. One minute, Chad. Okay, I will listen to you. Disadvantage transplant requires a suitable donor with a good tissue match. Number two, the operation is very expensive. Number three, there is a risk of rejection of the donated kidney immunosuppressive drug have to be used. Number four, transplants are not accepted by some religions. So we use two things of kidney, kidney food. I'm a man, I want to complete, then you ask as you like. Because the last time you said we don't finish, we must finish. We must finish all the, that is the extended Salman. I want just to finish it, then you ask as you like, okay? Now, we said the last thing, advantage, and disadvantage, I will repeat, of what? Of kidney transplant. We are treating the kidney by two kidney failure by two ways. What are two ways? They are number one, dialysis machine. Number two, we are talking about kidney transplant. Kidney transplant. But we have if we have problem in the machine, we will use kidney transplant here. If we have okay, a patient which uh, suffer from kidney failure, the question now I will ask you now, what is, what is the reason of the kidney failure especially? Can, can you raise your hand? I will ask now. What is the reason of the kidney failure? Okay, Muhammad. Muhammad, yeah. You hear me all? What is the, okay, what is the reason of kidney failure? Okay, another one. You don't know? What is the reason of kidney failure? You don't hear well? Me well? What is the reason of kidney failure? Okay, Allah, just Allah, yeah. It's maybe an accident that the, that the blood, blood pressure uh, was so low, or maybe a disease in the kidney itself. Thanks, thanks a lot. I want another one. Uh, I want to ask you, okay, Shad, if you want. Okay, what does the elephant machine consist of? What does the elephant machine consist of? You know, Shad? Okay, Shad? Yeah? Consists of what? Shah, do you hear me? What does the elephant machine consist of? You can think. Can close the microphone. There's a voice around you. Okay, now. 
كتر يور فويس از لاجنج كده تاني اوكي okay. uh, what does the Arabic machine consist of I'm explaining the Arabic machine okay what does the Arabic machine consist of you know yeah it has a tube which consists of a fluid that helps to remove the unwanted waste product thanks yeah from the blood so you understand today well the, uh, what the, uh, the Arabic machine or no yes okay thanks now I want to Okay, I want to repeat the rest machine consists of what? Longest serious tube, water bath. Okay? This water bath, tiny pores in the uh, dialysis tubing allow urea and salt and glucose to leak out. Inside water bath, what is inside water bath? You know? Shad, just shad also. Shad and Allah. Okay, no problem. What is inside water bath? Thanks. Or oh, what does water bath consist of? Hello? What does water bath consist of? Think, no problem. Mr. Zitner, you, you muted me. You unmuted me. You are, uh, you are Shahd, okay? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Ala? Yes, Ala. a solution of salts and sugars. Thanks, a solution of, of, uh, of sugar, thanks, of salts and sugar. But if, uh, what happened, thank you, thank you, Ala. Uh, what happened, my student, if the concentration, what happened? If the concentration of these, Solution increase or above the concentration. What happened? The answer is can diffuse out of the blood into the bathing solution. So today we uh, we studied the kidney, the structure of the kidney. We studied the kidney. How do you treat the kidney failure by the dialysis machine? Okay. We studied the kidney transplant. We said advantage and disadvantage of kidney transplant. Okay. From this advantage of kidney transplant, the patient can return to a normal lifestyle dialysis may require a length recision in hospital. But the kidney transplant, inshallah, the patient will return it to, its, uh, to have normal lifestyle. Number two, we said that the dialysis machine will be available for other patients to use. Number three, we said the RF machine are expensive to buy and maintain. They are advantage of transplant. But what are the disadvantage? Disadvantage means transplant requires suitable donor. Number two, operation is very expensive. Number three, there is a risk of rejection of the, of the donated a kidney immunosuppressive drug. Understand? Will I repeat this one? Okay, my students, we have just a uh, minute. Uh, inshallah, I will send the homework today about past paper. I will give you, I will uh, send to you past paper to do through WhatsApp or through the site. Thank you for good listening to Romani International School and see you later.